It was good, guys. I'm back by request to make a political esque video. And I gotta say that the term SCW is a crappy ass pejorative. As we know, 2014 has been the year of clickbait, of articles targeting social justice warriors and social justice people. On the opposite side of the spectrum, it also targets people who are anti-SJW. We're against the whining and the projection and narcissism of the social justice crowd with race, religion, and gender, sex, and all that other stuff being the driving force to their projections. I'm here to say that the term social justice warrior is not a good enough pejorative. If you call someone a social justice warrior and they do feel in the heart of their hearts that that is not something they should be feeling guilty of, they're not going to feel a sting out of that. They're just going to say, oh, it's stupid that you think that will offend me or something. They will joke it up. They'll try to be cocky, smug, and alpha. That's really the key to your personality and the true pejorative that's going to piss them off. These people oftentimes are swipples. It's the stuff white people like crowd look at the stuff white people like dot blogspot or whatever that it site is wordpress or whatever go to that website it has a database of things that swipples like and all of that pretty much defines their personality Their love of having token friends. Their love of white nighting on these kind of things. Marijuana. Their taste in coffee, movies, music. What they like to wear. Locales they enjoy visiting. Hobbies. No one in this, in that kind of demographic, wants to see themselves as an original. And yet they are exactly that because they don't want to be unoriginal. It's a classic stereotype of the fedora dude who's the I'm not like other boys guy, the supreme gentleman. All those other guys are assholes, I'm different. Then you got the tumbler chick, the leg beard, the thick rimmed glasses chick saying, well, I'm not like all the other girls. Other girls like partying and drinking and boys and I like my women and I like Netflix and Tumblr. That's right now we're dealing with the battle of the Spurgs. And the side the SJW side is the Swipple side. Swipple Spurgs. And everyone else the guys that aren't SGWs are just Spurgs that aren't Swipples about it. And really, when you put it that way, there are so many things that you could use to psychologize a social justice warrior. That's why I don't like using that term. That's why I'm glad that I learned this term in 2014 because 2013 I was using terms like leftist and liberal and progressive and hipster, swivel. But that is a perfect word to describe in this crowd, a crowd that likes to self project, likes to be narcissistic, that likes to externalize blame. That's a big thing. Externalize the blame to the other side, but yeah, I need to realize that not all social justice warriors are 
women or Arab mulatto people. Some of them are just white ass swipples who are spurvy as shit. Middle age, no girlfriend, no problem. And that's just about it. I'd say a swipple is a better pejorative. I mean, there's one guy I know. I'm not gonna throw him under a bus, but he's a video game translator. And I'd like to follow his work because there's a translation I want him to work on. I keep refreshing, seeing what else he's doing. And on his Twitter, he posts a bunch of shit just insulting. He retreats everything that's like against Gamergate, but a lot of it is just. I don't like them either, but a lot of it is just. the retweeting of strawmen, of ad hominems, of scandals. Like, HN is full of child pornography. Later, unproven true, untrue. All these scandals and lies and stuff they dig dirt on for people. I'm thinking, oh, that's some Jewy ass shit. I don't think this is acting type Semitic. That's what you gotta treat them like. That's another insult you can throw, but it has to be legit. I'm also like big on the Irish question and the Scots Irish question, so I'll I'll throw that term too. Like, if I see a last name O'Reilly or Mug, Mug Doofus. Oh, I know it's like Irish people are the worst when it comes to being prog swipples and things I don't like. Oh, I'm even harder than them on than the Jews. I'm like, people tell me that Aaron Clary, well, he's not really Jewish, he only has like a little sliver from his mother's side. That's technically that, but he's mostly Irish. That's worse, in my opinion, sometimes. That's worse. That like raises my bullshit radar stronger than anything else, but like, yeah. So he shares all these strawmans and scandals and insults that are usually unsubstantiated. He's insults against capitalists um, and I know that he's not a legit commie or socialist or he doesn't really hold any your economic viewpoint he's just a useful idiot and I'm thinking I'm not looking at this guy as an SJW I'm looking at this guy like a swipple because I see that he was born in the Massachusetts area maybe even Boston or a nice suburban area. He moved many years ago to Seattle. He loves coffee of the common like chain variant, chain store variant. And he if there was ever a picture of his face, since he likes, he uses a Twitter and he has an ironic caption, he probably has thick rimmed glasses, probably has a fedora, who knows? I don't get his swagger, because I've never seen him, but he's a swipple. John Stewart, St Stefan Colbert, swipples, man. And I don't hate Swipples. I don't hate any of these people. None of these people can really get me to hate them. I just think... I understand them. I understand why they are the way they are. Especially if you're a Swipple-ass guy. That's, that's the culture you're into. That's the culture you're attached to. Those are your people. That's your feed. Of course. I'm not going to call you any name unless it perfectly 
defines you because that's the kind of guy I am. I've been on the internet for a very long time. I've been on the internet since 07. If anyone ever sends me a nasty ass comment, I check their profile. I've always done this and I check what kind of person they are based on shit that they like. Like I know this one person commented on my liberals and dumbing Kruger effect and he didn't speak to me. He was saying Okay, everybody watching this video, this guy doesn't know anything about the Dunning-Kruger effect. I actually read the study, and he's just making a rambling diatribe out of sheer incompetence or some shit like that. I checked his profile. He liked a video from The Smiths. He liked some of Sword Sage's videos. This guy is a spurgy-ass swipple. A couple of other guys I've been beefing with on YouTube in the past years. I checked their shit, they'd like that guy with the glasses videos. But your channel awesome shit. They'd be talking about comic books, Superman and shit. Saying like ridiculous buzzwords. And I'm thinking a lot of this is Swipple, a lot of this is Spurgy. Not to say that you can't, that you can like these things and not be part of a thief. You probably can. I mean, I like to say that I'm not a complete swivel, and yet I do like some swivel things. Better yet, I'm a. I like to say that I'm not a hipster, which is slightly different from swivel. But I like animals as leaders. I like tesseract. I like those ridiculously technical wankery style bands. Is odd time signatures. I've been raised with this propaganda, mostly out of self delusion that an odd time signature is badass. And there you go, I like something that tipsters like. But then again, I am a millennial. Anyways, it's been Mr. Wonka7. You guys wanted a political video. This is by request. So if you're not happy with this bullshit, Uxe, Aime, Ikte. Translate that bullshit.